As the world's largest car maker, Toyota certainly has the capacity to compete in every single segment of the automotive market, especially if there's a high demand for it. And that's why it's just a matter of time before the Japanese company enters the fast-growing segment of small unibody pickups. At the moment, Ford Maverick leads the pack, but there's a big chance that things are about to change soon, as Toyota CEO has just revealed the all-new 22K small pickup truck. New Pickup Well-Known Moniker Toyota showed its interest in making a small pickup long ago, and it's just a matter of time before it enters the segment. The new pickup is already in development, and it's pretty obvious that the Japanese manufacturer will need more than good design and overall quality to beat the competition. Every model needs a trump card to become successful, and in this case, that will be Nostalgia. Although still not officially confirmed, it's pretty much for sure that the new pickup will be called Stout, a nameplate that evokes great memories. The Stout was a small pickup produced for decades, and most experts agree it was a model that put Toyota on the map as a reputable pickup truck maker. Eventually, one of the generations even made up to the US market, where it impressed the truck community with its maneuverability, capabilities, and overall quality. It's pretty safe to say it paved the road for Hilux and Tacoma, which are the two most popular midsize pickups in the world one internationally and the other across North America. Corolla Cross Base Design But other than the name and compact dimensions, the new Stout won't have many things in common with its predecessor. While the original model was a classic body-on-frame pickup, the new model will follow modern standards and just like the Maverick, as well as the Hyundai Santa Cruz, ride on a unibody platform. The car base design means that we should look for its closest relative in Toyota's crossover lineup, and for a long time, we believe that would be the RAV4. But it looks like Toyota has different plans for the new Stout, to make it smaller, more efficient, and therefore cheaper. For that reason, instead of riding on a GAK, it would ride on a GAC platform, the one that underpins smaller models in the company's range, including the recently introduced Corolla Cross. That model will borrow most of the parts for the new pickup, including the more efficient powertrain, which we'll talk about in a moment. The benefits of such a platform will be numerous, starting from the smaller dimensions compared to the Maverick, which leads to better maneuverability and superior efficiency. And by sharing most of the parts with Corolla Cross, we're also thinking of the suspension setup. The small crossover features a typical McPherson strut at the front and a double wishbone on the rear end and offers a pretty smooth ride so we see no reason why things wouldn't be the same with the new Stout. Efficient Hybrid Powertrain One of the key reasons why we believe that the new Stout will be based on the Corolla Cross rather than the RAV4 is efficiency. Don't get us wrong, that hybrid system from the world's most popular SUV is amazing. But we presume that Toyota wants to offer, by far, the most efficient pickup in the segment. For reference, the Maverick Hybrid returns around 42 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway, which is already pretty impressive. But with the same powertrain as the Toyota Corolla Cross, the Stout would bring efficiency to the next level. That system is based on a relatively small 2.0 liter inline four engine, but it gets significant help from a 113 horsepower electric motor. So the combined output goes all the way up to 196 horsepower, which is actually five horses more than the Maverick Hybrid delivers. Of course, the system comes coupled with the CVT, and we presume this whole setup is going to make the new pickup able to hit 60 in a little bit over 8 seconds, which is quite respectable for the class. More importantly, this system would ensure excellent fuel economy. The Corolla Cross returns around 45 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway, and we're pretty sure that the Stout is going to offer similar ratings. Besides the hybrid powertrain, Toyota's new pickup is also expected in a gas-only variant. That could be an entry-level version of the pickup with a naturally aspirated engine. But some sources also speculate about a Turbo 4 version with that 265 horsepower, 2.4 liter engine, which would compete with the hottest versions of rivals models, which also rely on turbocharged four-cylinder models. Modern Exterior and Interior Design Attractive aesthetics could be another strong selling point of the revived Toyota style, especially if we consider that the truck community isn't impressed with the way both Maverick and Santa Cruz look. One looks dull, other is over-designed, so we presume Toyota designers are about to offer something that balances between these two. And once again, we can refer to the Corolla Cross and its front-end design, which offers a mix of modern and classic lines, with a design that looks neutral enough to attract a broad range of potential buyers. 
The same is true with the interior design, where you can see a typical Toyota design philosophy with simplistic dashboard design clean lines, and a massive infotainment screen. Such a passenger car-like design will likely be complemented by a solid amount of modern tech features and, more importantly, advanced safety features. Speaking of safety, it's worth mentioning that Toyota has just released the Safety Sense 3.0, the latest version of its well-known suite of driver assistance and safety features, which brings updates and upgrades of familiar systems, but also brings a couple of new things, such as proactive driving assist, which offers braking and steering assist in order to help in tricky situations. Single cap layout? Why not? At this moment, things with unibody pickups are pretty simple when it comes to configurability. They're seen primarily as comfort-oriented, family-friendly vehicles, so it doesn't surprise that the only Maverick and Santa Cruz you can get are those with a crew cap and a pretty short bed. Logically, the new Stout will also be available in a crew cab layout, but various sources suggest we could also see it as a single cab pickup. That makes perfect sense because, although not particularly capable, these are still pickup trucks. They can still be quite utilitarian, especially with a cargo bed that goes over 5 feet. Most farmers, contractors, and other small businesses usually don't need something that can tow a boat. For them, it's actually about the balance between practicality and efficiency, and that's exactly what a single cap stout would be able to provide. And that's why we're pretty sure that Toyota is seriously considering offering such a version of the new pickup. Towing and payload capacity. No one expects unibody pickups to be able to tow a boat, as we mentioned. Still, some level of utility is a must, and in order to win the battle with Maverick, we think that the Stout should offer higher numbers. The mitigating circumstances is that Ford's pickup isn't particularly capable. This particularly refers to the hybrid version, which isn't available with all-wheel drive and therefore it can't tow more than 2,000 pounds. The Stout, on the other hand, will be offered in an all-wheel drive configuration, so we're pretty sure that it will be able to tow more, even in the most basic variant. As for the max capacity, the Maverick is good for 4,000, while the Santa Cruz can tow 5,000 pounds. So we presume Toyota's pickup will be somewhere between. When it comes to the max payload, we presume that average ratings would be enough for Stout to be considered competitive. In numbers, that would be around 1,500 to 1,600 pounds. Off-road performance. This is another aspect where Toyota Stout can beat the competition, especially when compared to the Maverick Hybrid, which isn't available in an all-wheel drive version, as we mentioned. The Stout Hybrid, on the other hand, will come in such a setup, which automatically translates to a much higher off-road potential. And if you add to that shorter wheelbase and better maneuverability, it turns out that we have a good reason to expect a dedicated off-road version with a hybrid powertrain. If Toyota releases a version with a Turbo 4, we're pretty sure that it will also come available with some pretty decent off-road upgrades to match the Maverick with the off-road package, which comes with the locking rear differential, upgraded suspension, and many more. Release date and price. The new Toyota Stout is in development, but as the officials are pretty successful in keeping all the details a secret, it's hard to say when it's going to hit the market. We believe that could happen already in the next year. As for the price, there are many reasons why the Stout could be pretty affordable. The first one is the fact that it will be based on the Corolla Cross, which is notably smaller and cheaper than the RAV4, due to the smaller dimensions, smaller powertrain, etc. Also, if the new pickup really comes in the single cab layout, it can be notably cheaper than the base crew cab Maverick. Ford's pickup for the 2024 starts at around 25,000, while Toyota's new pickup with a single cab would be available already at around $22,000. Thanks for watching and see you next time.